Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys all my loves and obsessions from September, um, my September favorites. So I'm super, super excited. Um, September was a crazy busy month for me. I moved back to university, I got a job, and now in my third year of university, just a bunch of things have been happening, but yeah, anyways, now I'm just rambling, but um, I wanted to show you guys a couple makeup products, or there's not a couple, there's actually a lot of makeup products that I've been obsessed with this month, and yeah, I wanted to share with them, um, or I wanted to share them with you guys in case you guys were wondering what I've been loving or what I would recommend. Just a quick disclaimer, I saw a comment on one of my videos that um, someone thought I talked too much and I didn't get to the point in my videos. I'm sorry if you guys think I talk too much. Um, I don't know, I feel like I just need to tell you guys more information about a product, but maybe sometimes I'm just rambling, but if you guys think I talk too much, then please let me know down below and I will try to shorten my videos because I want to please you guys, obviously, so please let me know that. I'm just going to jump in to all the makeup products that I've been loving lately, and the first one is actually um, my all-time favorite obsession lately, and this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and this is what it looks like in case you guys have been living under a rock and you've never seen it before. It looks like chocolate, it smells like chocolate, and it tastes like chocolate. So this is like my obsession. Um, the colors are absolutely gorgeous as you can see. I'm sorry if the lighting's kind of washing it out. But the colors are beautiful for fall and it comes with I think 16 eyeshadows. Um, so. Yeah, I've just been really, really liking this. Um, the specific colors that I've been really loving is Semi Sweet, which is like a matte deep brown. I've been loving Milk Chocolate, um, White Chocolate, and then also these two colors over here, Marzipan and Creme Brulee. I posted a tutorial um, last Saturday or maybe two weeks ago using this palette. So if you guys would like to see that, make sure you check out my most recent video. Um, so you can see, but I'm obsessed with this palette. The next thing that I have been obsessed with is ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Stains, Lip Creams. They're liquid lipsticks, basically. I'm wearing this color today. This is LAX. This has been my obsession. I think I got this maybe like two weeks ago, and I've already worn it so, so many times. And I also use, that, um, use this color in my tutorial, and a lot of you guys loved it, so... This is what I was using in case you guys forgot, um, but it's only $6. Um, the only bad thing about this is that it's super, super drying on the lips, so if you guys don't like the feeling of dryness on the lips, then you will hate this. Um, but if you guys are looking for something that will stay all day and that you won't have to reapply, and like just a beautiful fall color in general, then I highly recommend LAX. The next is kind of in the same family. This is Sephora's Cream Lip Stain, and this one is in Blackberry Sorbet, I believe. I can't really see the name, but I'm pretty sure it's Blackberry Sorbet. Basically, it is just this gorgeous um, purple, a deep purple sort of color. I'll give a swatch for you guys. Um, there we go. So it does have some like pink, tones in it, but it is definitely, once it dries, it dries to a really beautiful, um, rich purple color, and um, if you guys have ever tried the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, it feels exactly like that, but this one dries matte, and it doesn't kind of slip and slide, um, so it is moisturizing, it doesn't leave your lips um, as dry as the ColourPop liquid lipsticks, but it just, it stays just as long, it does transfer a little, so if you guys don't like that, then, um, that's kind of a downside, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I believe this was like $16 um, from Sephora, at least in Canada. I think it's a little cheaper in the States. I think it's like $13 in America, but I've been really, really liking this as well. And yeah, the next thing that I've been loving, 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 and I also use this in my last makeup tutorial, um, is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Lala. Um, and it looks like this. It is a beautiful rose gold color. Um, and I'll give you guys a swatch so you can see it better. Looks like this. It's basically your true rose gold, and it's super, super vibrant on the lip, um, on the lips. It's super vibrant on the eyelids, and, um, it's just a gorgeous color, and I love ColourPop eyeshadows. They're only $5, super inexpensive and affordable, and they're just amazing. But this one in particular has been my favorite. 
And yeah, if you guys would like to see how this looks and how I kind of use it, um, then make sure you check out my last video. The next thing I have is another lip product. Um, this is a MAC lip liner and this one is Chestnut. Um, I've had this for a super, super long time. But anytime like fall comes around, I just go back to being obsessed with it. I do use it a lot in my tutorials, but I've never really outwardly talked about it. But this is Chestnut. I'll give you guys a swatch. There it is right there. Um, so basically it's just a dark brown. Um, there really isn't anything else to it. But I've been seeing a lot of beauty gurus here on YouTube using this lately in their tutorials. It is just beautiful on all different types of skin tones. And it's really, really awesome, especially for my dark skin girls or, you know, just women of color in general. Um, sometimes when you're using like nude lipsticks, it can look kind of ashy. Mix this in, honestly, with any of your lipsticks and it will just transform it into this beautiful nude color. So um, if there's one lipstick I tell you guys to buy from MAC, that you could use with literally everything. Definitely chestnut, especially if you are a woman of color. I highly, highly recommend this. The next thing that I've been really loving is actually a new eyebrow product. And this is the Annabelle Skinny Brow Liner. Mine is in Universal Dark. And it looks like this. I, I think I've used this in a tutorial before, but I, I briefly talked about it. It's very comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, skinny brow liner I don't know what it's I forget what it's called the brow is I think yeah um, it has like that really skinny um, applicator but it is a gorgeous like deep brown and you can't really see it there but um, it blends really really nicely it can be a little patchy that's the only thing I do not like about it but you can kind of just blend that away with a spoolie I'm using it today and I never thought that I'd be the type of person to solely use um, an eyebrow pencil in my eyebrows but I haven't been using powder like eyebrow stuff lately and I've just been using this um, sadly it's only available in Canada I'm not sure if they sell it in the UK maybe because Canada and the UK usually have similar products but I don't believe they sell Annabelle in the States or in America so sorry but if you guys are ever whoops I just dropped it but if you guys are ever in Canada I'd highly recommend purchasing that um, and if you guys would like to see like how I kind of use or how I kind of fill in my brows without using powder like just using a pencil then let me know that could be a video that I could film for you guys but yeah the next awesome product that I discovered this month is the makeup forever step one skin equalizer and this is the mattifying base one um, this is just a super tiny deluxe size sample the reason why I like it now I don't have dry skin I actually I mean sorry I don't have oily skin I have very dry skin but sometimes in the morning when I'm going to class, my face can be a little shiny because the moisturizer that I use is very um, like thick. So it leaves kind of like a glossy, not really, kind of like a greasy finish to my face. This, I don't know what the hell it is inside of this, but it's, it's almost like deodorant for your face, if that makes sense. Like, you know how deodorant kind of soaks up the oils and stuff? This soaks up any oil that is on your face. So if you guys have oily skin, I would highly, highly recommend trying this out. Um, it is amazing. At least like get a sample or something from Sephora and just try it out because it's so awesome. Um, basically, it's, it's kind of like a gel consistency and it dries really fast on your face so you can, it's it's kind of hard to apply the only reason i would purchase this again is for days that i'm not wearing makeup and i just want a matte face um it's really really good and i highly recommend this especially 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 for oily skin the next favorite i have is an oldie but a goodie this is the mac mineralized skin finish natural in dark and I've purchased this so many, so many times. This is probably my third or fourth um, like compact of this. And this is just like a light to medium coverage face powder. So um, a lot of people just use this to set their foundation or set their face. I actually use this as a foundation. I do have 830 class and I don't like wearing foundation to the class because it's the freaking morning and I just, I ain't got no time for that. Um, so I've been using this and the brush that I've been using it with is a Carity Cosmetics um, face brush and this is a really, really dense brush. I find you need a dense brush um, for mineralized, um, what's it called, products like this, especially if you're trying to get a little coverage out of it. 
And I'm wearing this today. I'm actually not wearing any foundation on my face or concealer. Um, so you can kind of see the finish that it gives me. Um, it's a very natural finish. Um, it does have some kind of like shimmer in it. So that could be kind of annoying if you guys don't like that. It is a little pricey, but I've bought it three or four times now, so you obviously know it's worth the money. Another product that I have been loving lately is this sleek contour kit, um, but specifically the highlight in the contour kit. Whoops, I should cover that. Um, I'm wearing the highlight today on my cheeks. You can see it better that way. It is just this beautiful golden color, and it looks amazing on dark skin. Um, put it over there. You can kind of see it over there. It is just a beautiful gold, and when you put it on the cheeks, it just provides this really beautiful, healthy, natural glow, and it doesn't have, like it's very finely milled, so it doesn't appear sparkly on the face, as some highlighters can do. And um, this duo was only like $7. I talk about this in every single tutorial, because it's my favorite highlighting, um, or contour product, um, but yeah, the highlight has just been giving me life lately, and I don't know. Like you could even put it on your cheeks without having makeup on um, and it just provides this beautiful natural glow and it just makes you look amazing. So highly recommend this. Link is down below, as are all the products actually. I'm going to link every single product I showed here down below so you guys can um, purchase it directly if you're interested. So yes. So the last makeup product that I have to show you is this LA Pro Concealer and this one is in Fawn. Um, now I don't really use this to conceal my under eyes, what I've been really really loving to use this for um, the past month is actually my brows, so if you guys have been watching me for a while you know that I like to carve my eyebrows after I fill them in with concealer and I've been really liking to use this because it already has a brush um, on it so it makes it super super easy just to put it on I don't have to worry about finding my brush because for some reason I'm always losing my brush that I use to conceal my eyebrows with But this one has been awesome, and they're super inexpensive I'm sure all of you guys have heard of the LA Pro concealers before my favorite fall candle of all time Basically is sweater weather by Bath and Body Works this I discovered last year and I've been, been obsessed with it ever since, so I couldn't wait till it reached fall time so I could keep burning it. It just smells like a breath of fresh air in the fall time. Like it smells like crushed leaves and like warm and fresh. And it just, it's a beautiful smell. Um, I can't really describe it because I suck at smell. So I suck at describing scents. Uh, whenever I come home from school, I'm always just kind of burning this in the background while I'm studying or reading or something. And then I just have three random favorites. This is six. I have three random favorites. Um, the first is my favorite song lately, and it has been What Do You Mean by Justin Bieber. I am obsessed. I've always been a Biebs fan, so, you know, when he came out with this song, I was super excited to hear it. And it's actually really good. If you guys have never heard it before, I'd highly recommend it. I bought it on iTunes the second it came out, and it's so, so good. And the second song I've been loving is by a guy named LA. I will post his SoundCloud down below. The first time I actually heard him from, um, what's her name? Shirley B. N. Yang here on YouTube. She's like a UK London vlogger and um, I've been obsessed with his music ever since and I know um, Latoya Forever plays him a lot on the channel as well. And the song that I have been really liking from him is Love a Nigga, that's what it's called, N-I-G-G-A. But it's really good. I will post the link down below so you guys can download the song as well. Um, all his music is really, really good. It has like kind of like a chill vibe and he has an amazing voice. And yeah, I've been really liking his music lately. And the last and final favorite of this video, I've been obsessed with watching America's Next Top Model. I've been watching it with my roommates because it's kind of a show that we're watching together. We're finishing the season together. Um, so we watch it every single week when we have time and I don't know, I've just been really liking it, and like my favorite person on there is Mame. Sorry, no, I love Mame, but I love Lacey and Niall. They're like my one true pairing. They need to get together because I need to see their beautifulness happen. Um, but I've been actually really liking that show. I've been I've been obsessed with that show ever since I was like really little. Like when it first came out, and then I stopped watching it for a really long time. But then my roommates got me back into it, and I've been really liking it. So if you guys watch America's Next Top Model as well, let me know your favorite 
contestants and who you're rooting for because those are my favorites. That is the end of my video. Um, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.